Hello YouTubers, this is Eric from Easy Computer Solution and today I'm going to do my one month review with the Moto 360 and I'm going to edit this whole video with my iPad Air 2 using iMovie. Hello guys, this is Eric with another video and today I'm going to shoot this video of my one month with the Moto 360 and I'm going to edit the whole video using only my iPad and I'm not going to use my computer so let's get started okay so let's get with the review this is my Moto 360 I've been having this 360 for a month now and it's time for my one month review well first of all I want to say that this here is a buy Definitely a buy. I'm going to tell you some of the pros and cons, what I think about the Moto 360. And again, I'm going to fully edit this video using my iPad Air 2. So stay tuned to that. All right, so the Moto 360, guys, this is the 2014 edition of the Moto 360. So this is last year model. And if you're watching in my previous videos, I gave this a buy. Okay, so... Let's go over some of the, the, the stuff that I like about the, the watch. First of all, the watch is gorgeous. I mean, with the stainless steel band, uh, it's very, very good. Uh, don't have any scratches on here. I also put a screen protector here on top of it, uh, and the band is gorgeous. Um, so going around the band, you know, I mean, it, I mean, the stainless steel is, I mean, luxury. And on the back, it has a sensor, the heart rate sensor and everything. But definitely, uh, with Android Wear, it's coming along pretty good. So, one thing I get a lot of YouTubers out there that ask the question, I get this on Twitter. They talk about the battery life. Listen, I wear this watch all day and all night. So, what happened is, when I wear this watch all day, when I come, I get take this watch off uh, in the morning because I wear this watch overnight. I take this watch off in the morning, and what I do is I put it on the charger in the morning well, I, before I get ready to go out uh, to work, all right? So once I put this on the charger, maybe about 30, 45 minutes, it charge all the way to 100%. Then I go about my day, maybe about 7 o'clock in the morning to about 6 o'clock in the evening. I come home, the watch is at about 50% to 40%, okay? What I do is once I settle for the day, I take the watch off, I put it on this charger for maybe about another 45 minutes uh, as I go do my restroom thing, and I, when I come out, I put the watch back on, and I keep it on all night, and the reason why I keep this, phone, uh, this watch on all night is because I love the alarm that's on here. It, it, listen, it doesn't have a speaker. But what happened is the alarm, it, I've set this alarm for about 6 o'clock in the morning. And what happens is once I set this alarm, the, the watch vibrates on my wrist. And, oh, man, it, it's, it's like a miracle because it, it gets me up in the morning and it does have a snooze on it. So overnight, uh, at, at 100%, when I wake up about 6 o'clock in the morning, the watch would be about... 85 to 90 percent so i put it on the charger when i wake up in the morning as i get prepared for my day once i get prepared for my day i put the watch on all day so i might put this on the charger twice a day maybe about 45 minute intervals but this watch stays on my wrist all day so the battery life let's get the monkey out the room the battery life on this device is to me is exceptional i like it. it it gets me through the day i have no words i got everything push email notifications text messages all coming through the watch and i don't have no battery issues at all now let's talk about the display the display is great uh you know you do have some issues with the display on the outside but with the adjusted ambient light sensor, it brightens it up once you go outside. And definitely, it's, it's, you can look at it and it's got the different watch faces and everything. So it's definitely a watch that you can see outside, but it could be better. So, that, I mean, this absolutely, the watch is definitely a buy. With the price, look, 
all the Android Wear watches that's coming out here right now in 2015, the the, the software of Android Wear, Android Wear is the same. All the software is the same. The only difference in each watch is the internals and the uh, design. That's it. So if you have an Android Wear watch, this one here works very, very fluid. Don't have no issues with it. I know it's a, it's a outdated processor, but guess what? It works like a charm. No problem with the battery life, nothing at all. So at the end of the day, I at uh, using this smartwatch for one month, I'm giving this a thumbs up. This is a buy. I'm going to keep this video short and sweet. I'm going to take this video and edit it right now on my iPad Air 2. And I'm going to show you some clips on how I did it on iMovie. So leave a comment down below. below. Let me know what you think about me editing this video on my iPad Air 2. This is Eric from Music Computer Solutions. See you on the next video. Peace. Okay, guys. So the video that I just did is over and I want to tell you the tools that I use to do the video editing. First, I use my Galaxy Note 5. I use my Galaxy Note 5 to record the video. I'm recording this video right now with my Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. But I did this whole video using the Galaxy Note 5. I uploaded it to to my OneDrive account. So once I upload it to OneDrive, I open up iMovie and I go to my locations and I go to my OneDrive. Once I go to my OneDrive and all I do is download the files to my iPad and from my iPad, I'm going to do all the video editing. So here we go.